A very popular way of catching pike in the winter is with a dead bait, fish on the bottom, fish static. And that can be very, very good for much of the time, but sometimes the pike get quite lethargic and, and they won't go around looking for baits. And so you've got to go to them. And so I tend to use a mobile approach. And all I'm going to do is use the same tackle that I would use for static dead baiting with the bait on the bottom, but I'm going to bring my stop knot down, shallow up, and I'm going to fish the bait suspended just off the bottom. Now this has got quite a few advantages. First of all, it makes the bait more visual, but also I can now inch the bait along and make it look like it's actually a live fish. Just put a bit of movement into it. And sometimes when it's cold and the pike are lethargic, that little bit of movement can make all the difference. The tackle I'm using is exactly the same as I would use if I was static dead baiting. So I've got the option if I wanted to, to just fish a bait on the bottom. And I'm using the purest classic dead bait two and three quarter uh, rod from Shimano, uh, which I use for fishing these sort of small pits. Um, 8,000 bait runner reel and 30 pound power pro braid. Exactly the same as I would use for static dead baiting with the bait on the bottom. And what I'm going to do now is just get a bait out. And as I say, it's going to be fished just hopefully six to eight inches off the bottom. And I'm going to leave it there for a while and if nothing takes it in a couple of minutes, I'm going to start inching it back towards me. And believe me, this, this is, to me, a lot more exciting than just waiting for the float to go under because you're actually holding the rod, you're inching the bait back, and if you're holding the rod at that might, the right moment when the pike takes, it's really exciting when the pike hits it, the float rams under and you feel the pike pull the rod in your hand. So you can see I, I'm just dying to get out there and cast this bait, so uh, come with me and let's see whether we can catch a pike. Well, I've let the bait settle and uh, nothing's taken it, so I'm going to start twitching it back. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I've moved the float, something's had it. It's definitely a pike taking it. Oh, I can't believe this. I pulled this away from it. It was definitely a pike I felt the take. That is one of the problems in cold weather. They can just nip onto the bait and drop them. But that's given me the confidence to think that I'm going to get one today. I've just had another take right under the rod tip again and surely I'm not going to lose this one. <laughs> Oh, this one's on. Well, it's only a small pike, but uh, it may be the same one that, uh, that I've had dropped my bait uh, previously. It's putting up a good account of itself anyway, for a small one. Oh, it comes beautiful fish. And she's in the net. <laughs> well, I've landed one at last. I don't know why I'd miss those other two, but uh, oh, it's a pretty little fish. Just nicked with the two size six trebles, just in the top of the jaw. And like all the fish in this pit, it's a really prettily coloured one. Lovely shades of dark green and lemon spots. They really are fabulous fish in this pit.
Well, isn't that beautiful, eh? <laughs> Let's get it quickly back. Well, I've just had a fresh cast as far as I can and uh, I've only had two turns of the reel and it's gone straight away. Oh, oh I've hooked this one anyway. Oh, this actually feels a better fish. Oh, no. I don't... I don't believe it, I've, I've had another one drop off. That, that did feel a better fish, actually. Oh, well, put another bait on. <laughs> well, I've just had another take, and uh, in view of the fact that I've dropped off most of the fish I've hooked so far, including one quite big one, I'm just hoping and praying I'm gonna land this one, but uh, the takes have been very, very gentle today. You can tell by the way the float's going that they're only just nipping on, but uh, I can't delay the strike. Let's see if I can hook into this one. Oh, I've hooked into it, but I can tell by the way it's shaking its head, it feels quite lightly hooked. I'm just hoping this one will stay on long enough so that you can take a look at it. Yeah, you can't expect much of a fight this time of year. They're doing everything very slowly and gently. Well, I think this one's going to stay on. Well, <laughs> Well, I've landed that one, and uh, again, typical of the, the pike from this pit, beautiful collars, lovely markings, and only quite lightly hooked. That, that shouldn't take a lot of trouble getting those hooks out. Well, I was very close to losing that one. One trebles out, and the other one, it's just, just nicked in here. And uh, just one shake of the head, and that one could have come off, but luckily it didn't. So there it is, another superb gravel pit fish. Well, the technique's proving really effective now. I'm getting plenty of hits on the bait. It seems that if I leave it just for a couple of minutes, then start it moving, I'll get a take straight away. And I'm in again. Let's hope this is the big one. <laughs> it's very hard to tell how big they are at this time of year because uh, they don't really fight. The water's too cold to let them fight. And I think this is just, just another small one. And because it's not fighting, I'm probably just dragging it in.
but this is a good technique to use at any time of year. It's a good way of catching shy biting pike in cold water, but uh, if you use it when the weather's a bit milder, they'll still hit the, uh, the baits just as well. This one's taking a while to come in because I've probably cast about 50 yards to get this one. Here she comes. Oh no, there's a, there's a hook trailing free, so I won't net it. Well, that one fought more in the margin than it did out there. And uh, again, only quite lightly hooked near the front. Always a danger that when they're lightly hooked, you're gonna drop them off, but uh, that one's safely to the bank. The ones I'm landing are all very similar sized fish, but uh, lovely fish to catch. It's a great pity I didn't land that bigger one, but uh, hey, you can't catch a big one every time. So I've, I've won a few, I've lost a few, but it's been a great day and uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the technique of the suspended dead bait and um, I think if you try it out on your local water you'll be surprised just how effective it is.